When you're done reading it, you notice that the book's spine is cracked. You try to fix it by hitting it really hard, but you end yeah. up just smashing the book to powder. Treason, Jumble Neck Mine, Curious Cops, Ghostwood, Breadwood, and Soupstock Load. So we've got two mines, two towns, the Curious Cops, and the Fort Treason. But we want to save Breadwood for last, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm curious for the Curious Place. The Curious Cops. Now, I have a theory that this might be another one of the uh, places based upon the map. Right. Because uh, oh, right. yeah, I get it was the Humming Cave, the Lost Dutch Oven Mine, the Curious Abandoned Well was the other one, so it should be the Curious Cops that's the next El Vibrato place. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. And then the other two will be the other side of the world that you've hmm. got to get. Yeah. Yeah. The desolate, lonesome, whatever it is. Away, uh, Cumberbatch. Oh, shit. What's going on? Your El Vibrato transponder begins beeping slowly and quietly. Ah. Can't see the wood for the trees. Then chop down the trees. <laughs> Punch down the trees. <laughs> Your L vibrator transponder starts beeping at medium and uh, medium tempo and volume. What is this mysterious right, thing going. here? It's a shockweed plant. Ah, you wrap okay. your shirt around your hand and pluck the shockweed flowers. This ah, very sensible, Archibald. You, you have a uh, shockweed extract increases your spell damage by ten for the rest of the day. You extract this crackling, bubbling fluid from one of those weird electrified weeds that grow up uh, in the woods north. Maybe due to the fact that there's an El Vibrato place nearby. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah, that would make sense. So, right. Um, we can banish it to the maintenance teleporter if we wanted to, or attack this thing. I say we just attack it. Murder. Murder. Yeah. Earthheart's going to say murder, everybody. So, of course he would. All right. I like let, let, let's bash the crap out you of like this. You like it, bloody murder. Oh, I, the robots. Oh, 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 blood, oh dear. I forgot that, that. I forgot that. Hey, melee damage, and we're pretty beefy anyway. And then this happened: 108 damage. Um, <laughs> <laughs> well, well, well worth those boots. Well, well worth it. oh, so we got five L Brato scrap. So that's good. You put an yeah. end to that crazy machine's centuries-long reign of terror. Uh, reign of duty. I guess. It was really just minding its own business until you came along. So, Reign of Wandering, I suppose. Uh, call, call of Duty, Reign of Duty. Reign of non-fire there. Reign of Peace. We stopped your, your, we stopped your tyrannical Reign of Peace. Or how about the its tyrannical Reign of Bewilderment? Hmm. The beeping from your transponder reaches a deafening volume. Holy shit! I was gonna say, is that really getting into your ears? Um, no, because it does. But but then the fucking fucking just teleports in. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's okay. Good. Jump scare. Oh, okay. That's a big teleporter as well. Okay. L vibe. Break a construction level something or the other. There's some graffiti s scratched into this machine next to a single big button. It says refreshment five, temperature six. It's a coffee machine! Uh, uh, of course. The machine emits a, emits a harsh buzz, but nothing else. Mm. So no coffee? Mm. Guess we need to have a mug. North Central Construction Facility Online. Terminal corruption detected. Primary terminal. Select secondary terminal. Pipeline terminal, terminal. Solar array terminal. Coffee maker terminal. Construction terminal. Leave the terminal. Let's put in the, the uh, coffee maker. Coffee one, because that's yeah. right next, so. Coffee maker terminal. Refreshment made you two. Temperature made you six. Okay. So what was the thing? Uh oh, uh far what was it? Far no. Yeah, increase the refreshment what? magnitude. Refreshment yeah. five, temperature six. Yeah, that's So, so I increase the refreshment to Four, so increase it to. No, to five. Yeah, no, it's five. Five. All right, sorry. So. And to temperature, what's down to? I right, five. 
Uh, so it's six for refreshment, yeah? Yeah. I should see what we're Oh, refreshment five, temperature six. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah. Okay. The machine emits a pleasant chime, and a piping hot coffee pours into the cup. You grab it. You got, you got an item. Perfect cup of coffee. You've never ah. seen or smelled a better cup of coffee than this. It's a real once-in-a-lifetime beverage. It increases your speed by nine, and your maximum AP by three for the rest of the day. That's good. Ah. That could be good for a new day. Caffeine. Okay. Uh, you insert the battery into the model if it springs to life. Everything goes blue for a second. You gain 250 XP and gain the effect Energize. Those stack. So I've now got 12 muscle, 12 miscounting, 12 moxie hmm. by doing nice. this. Uh, solar array terminal. Pipeline terminal. I've got no idea what any of these do is the problem. Solar array terminal. Push mm. buttons and pray. Maybe there's... Construction terminal. Power offline matter. Uh, current construction offline. Power offline matter pipeline offline. Mm. Select construction. Municipal construction. Construction terminal. Municipal construction. Planetary temperature containment array. Antipsychotic sedative system. Construction <laughs> terminal. Local bridge beacon. Power off main pipeline off. Okay. Uh, pipeline terminal. Power pipeline. Southwest construction facility. Destination Southwest construction facility. Uh, select source. Municipal toilet system. Oh, bloody hell. There's so many options. It's very confusing. I'm confused. Don't know what these are. I don't even know where to begin with that. Yeah. I was gonna say, are there any um, clues outside? No. Uh, if you if you go to the various things, I think and study them. No, no sleeping. Uh, okay. But it's, oh. it's gonna be it's not gonna be hard for Kevin to do that because he's actually actively playing a game. Although, Maybe. granted, I say that uh, yeah. after me myself have done a twenty four hour stream where I did it did play for 24 hours and I almost uh, went to sleep a couple of times. <laughs> I have actually fallen asleep playing a game. That game was Dead Space. I was bored shitless with that game. Right. Where to next, gents? Uh, Fort Treason. I might as well. Fort Treason. <sighs> There's got to be some other stuff around here. There's well, interesting. Here. Well, this is the thing. Uh, we are short of side dalliances as Susie put it hmm. we have literally got <laughs> this stuff to look exhausting. at we are exhausting every side dilingy hmm. in, hmm. in the game so far so it's a demi culverin cannon look closely at it it's a fine cannon demi culverin in size insert your cannonball you look through the rangefinder on the cannon, but you can't see any indication of anything you want to shoot at. You decide to waste the ball. Seems rational. <laughs> okay, so let's go in here. So we have to find something to shoot. Let's also use the binoculars at the watchtower and see if there's anything. No. <laughs> <laughs> there is not fine. Oh dear. Um, this is this. <laughs> This must have been where they stored all of the fire. Apparently. <laughs> right. Yeah. Into the barracks we go. Mm. Uh, we got some more. We got some sugar guns. More Vienna blood sausages and plum pudding. Okay. Uh, army field trauma kits. Full canteens. There's a locked foot locker. Which has an artillery targeting flare. This flare produces a huge plume of smoke, and where there's smoke, that's where you should fire. Oh. Okay. 
So that's what we're shooting with the cannibal. Yeah, but we need to find to somewhere, I guess, over the other side of the map. I have no idea. And then we come back here and use the cannon. Um, you got an item, uh, Private Mattel's diary. You got an item, key to PO Box One One Four, back at the post office. Um, you got a full canteen, chemical bullets and sentry bullets, and. Ooh. Kick that open, please. <laughs> to go over Private Mattel's diary, Private Lemon's diary. Of course. <laughs> I did wonder what we were going to get. Uh, anyway, let's see. Private Mattel's diary. Abandoned and dogged army issue diary. The cover says Private Mattel, barely legible in the collage of gravy stains. Most of Private Mattel's diaries, empty pages, ink splotches, and latrine duty again, blah, blah, blah. Near the end, though, you start to see some notes about the fort's commanding officer, Captain Simon, going off the deep end. As Mattel puts it, being stuck out here in the middle of nowhere doing nothing is driving the captain frigging bug nuts. <laughs> when the captain eventually decides that a nearby ranch, occupied while a solitary woman and her book collection was actually an enemy spy outpost, Mattel felt compelled to warn the woman, but was too worried about getting court martialed to give her any specific details of the looming threat. Keep reading. In an attempt to prevent an imminent cannon bombardment of the ranch, Mattel stole some ballistic charts and hid them in a post office box during a shore leave in Dirtwater. This place doesn't have any damn shore, he comments. What the hell? <laughs> Unfortunately, the cannons had already been calibrated. When Mattel returns to the camp, he discovered the shelling had already begun. In his last entry, he declares his intention to start a mutiny. But the diary ends there with no conclusion to the story. So there'll be something worth searching for Private Lemons. Here we go. Private Lemons' diary is a pretty dry and is pretty dry and not very interesting. Just a list of the day-to-day -day duties of a straight-laced soldier up in the hills without anything to fight. Towards the end, though, it starts mentioning their commanding officer, Captain Simon, being increasingly agitated and convinced the nearby ranch is being used as a spy outpost. Then it doesn't sound convinced, but as one annoyingly vague entry puts it orders are orders hmm. the last few entries have to do with dissent in the ranks and the possibility of a mutiny the fault of which lemon abhors uh, abhors the rest of the pages are blank so now we have another mystery which is where, what happened hmm. what happened here uh, the mess halls the mess hall and no one cares about that Right. Hmm. Uh, yeah, shoes. He looks pretty low on ideas for side dalliances right now. So still so. We will head all the way back to get to that post office. Now I've gone to the Silversmith's house. Oh well, we're going to the Silversmith's <laughs> house. As you're riding down the trail, a dirty urchin jumps out. <laughs> points a toy pistol at you and demands that you pay the toll by doing 20 push-ups. We can pay the boy or ignore the little scamp. Pay the boy. No. I thought you <laughs> wanted to ignore him. Nah, show off your muscles. Satisfied with your demonstration of upper body strength, this child allows you to pass it out pretending to shoot you. Huh. Uh, we don't want that. We actually want... Uh... Want to go to dirt water. <sighs> okay, right. Post office. I wonder if our brothers responded to us yet, by the way. <laughs> Jackass. Uh, you find PO Box 114 for which you found the key at Fort Treason. You open the box. It's empty except for a single sheet of card stock with columns of numbers on it in tiny print. You've got an item, a Fort Treason ballistics chart. This is a chart for army guys that explains how to more effectively destroy things from a distance. Hmm. Is that something we can read? Yes, it is. This chart is full of details of the precision firing of the Demi Culver and artillery cannon. You know what? I bet that ranch could blow the vault door at Alexandria Ranch open if you could figure out a way to target it. 
Oh, there's that metal thing. Mm. Good yeah. idea, oh. says the button. <laughs> <laughs> Oi. I, hi, I'm Archibald Jukington. Any mail from me? Mm, nope. Darn. <laughs> Thanks anyway. You jackass. Oh, look, there's a, there is... Ah, oh, there is the telegraph machine. See, I told you. <laughs> I told you. Right. Hmm. Okay. Off to Alexandria Ranch we go. All the way across the map. <laughs> Right away. <laughs> oh, for once we didn't get interrupted, right. Hmm. Do, 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 do. Place the targeting flare here. Certainly. Next to this solid steel vault door. <laughs> and it started smoking. <laughs> to Fort Treason! You find the abandoned crate on the side of the trail addressed to Fort Treason. I guess whoever was in charge of delivering it figured, well, screw those guys. Uh, we open up with a crowbar to reveal. You crack open the crate's hard outer shell and collect the sweet inner meat, except it isn't meat, it's items. <laughs> you got an item, incendiary bullet four, and some military grade risky. Sorry that analogy wasn't very good. Don't sweat it, says the person. <laughs> <laughs> right. To the cannon we go! Insert the cannonball! You peer through the rangefinder at the distant smoke of your targeting flare. You consult the ballistics chart and turn little knobs and cranks and stuff to the appropriate places. You root around your pack and find a match because we have one of those. <laughs> Light it up! Uh, boom. An actual boom as well. Uh, if that didn't, <laughs> if that didn't open the vault door, then those grapes are probably sour anyway. Hooray! <laughs> Sorry, Suze, we've got to go all the way back there now. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> oh, here we go. Alexandria Ranch's cellar. Books and books and books and books. Uh -huh. uh, you take one that looks the most interesting. You've got an item, Percussive Maintenance. This book is for the tips and tricks by the ancient art of fixing machines by hitting them really hard. <laughs> ah. Gives you the Percussive Maintenance skill. Thank you. Can I have any more books? Books and books and books and books. You take one that most looks relevant to your experience. Advanced Cow Punching Volume 184. It sounds correct. Two I was going to say, you guys skipped a couple of volumes there. <laughs> two out of three. Let's go for a third. Books and books and books and books. You choose the book with the most sensational sounding title. You got an item, How to Cheat at Poker. Ooh. Cheat. Poker. There's also these books. Um... This locked case contains a book labelled The Greatest Love Poem Ever Written. Lock picking free needle. I'm willing to bet we require that for Cactus Bill. <laughs> this sounds possible. Uh, uh, possibly. Give him some, you know, pick up lines mm, that he this can lock, then woo. This locked case contains a book labelled Rich Vein, Poor Vein. And this locked case contains a book labelled Gold Medal Silversmithing. Right, how many needles do we have? Hmm. Okay, I might have lost count. Yeah, I suppose you can go through them at a good rate. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, 11, we're fine. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> I'm like, oh. Why do we need to worry then? Jeez. So, yeah. You got an item, gold metal silversmithing. You got an item, rich vein, poor vein. You can write them the best love poem ever written. We've got lots of books. Let's read them all. Um, the best love poem ever written. This the dust jacket of this book is missing, so I can't tell you who who wrote it. Mm -hmm. hmm. Let's read it. This love poem is so good you're afraid to even read it because you might fall in love with the book. <laughs> 
Uh, Rich Vein, Poor Vein. This is a copy of the popular financial advice book from a few years ago. It's rare now because of various because of various crusades to destroy every copy of it. Fair enough. Bow, 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 bow. You quickly memorized the entire book. You gained a you got a perk, Vain Glorious. Um, you know how to get a lot of more meat out of the meat veins. Because yeah. increase your meat gains from what? Yeah, yeah. You get uh, so your increase. Sorry, it's Bobby gains... Roode. <laughs> yes. Uh, there we go. Well, Bobby Roode circa NXT. Mm. Unfortunately, the book was so old and crumbling that reading it once once caused it to be destroyed. No. So much for literary preservation. Uh... <laughs> All right, gold medal silversmithing. This book, written by expert jeweler Dabney Bronze, details advanced techniques in melting silver things and turning them into other silver things. Okay. You read the book and learned a lot more about silversmithing than you knew before. Got a perk, expert silversmithing. Ooh. Everybody out west can silversmith a little, but you, you can do it a lot. Now we can make yeah. extra silver bullets when crafting them. Nah. Okay. I was hoping for Excellent. something like you can super silver plate your items. Maybe, who knows. Uh, after you after you finished reading it, you absentmindedly drop it in a nearby mailbox and are unable to retrieve it. <laughs> Happy birthday, Mr. Postman, it says. <laughs> <laughs> How to cheat at poker. Cheating is part of the game poker. I love that they're putting in to, to avoid any like extra ratings for gambling. <laughs> <laughs> That's why it's in quotes. Cheating is part, of, part mm. of the game poker. But getting caught doing it is still disadvantageous. This book purports to turn your cheating into sneaky cheating. Gives you the dirty poker skill. Oh yeah, I was having that. Uh -huh. <laughs> um... Uh, so as to conceal the evidence of your dirty dealings, you eat the book. Dirty Poker. You've learned how to cheat at the weird variant of poker they play in these parts. You will almost certainly get caught. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's hit the tables. Sure, why not? All uh, Percussive maintenance. Let's get that. This book of... Yeah, you said that. You quickly memorise the entire book. you got a perk, Percussive maintenance. You've learned how to hit machines just in just the right way to fix pretty much whatever's wrong with them. Yeah. You can fix things the e quote unquote easy way. Uh, time or the gets, shadow way. Time gets, yes, the shadow knows. Um, when you when you're done reading it, you notice that the book's spine is cracked. You try to fix it by hitting it really hard, but you end yeah. up just smashing the book to powder. <laughs> Oops. The book is not a machine. <laughs> yes, the book, is, exactly, yeah. the book is not a machine. But our character's dumb. So it doesn't matter. <laughs> Advanced <laughs> Count Punch in volume 184. Now, I'm going to overrule you, you on this. <laughs> Fine. Um, which is that uh, there's a complex pronunciation guide written by a linguist who is raised by cows. It gives menacing move with skills that reduces the muscle of all your opponents. There's a big poster that you can fold out and practice punching. gives the old one, two, three. It's good. lets you perform a free punch attack in quick succession. We're getting that. Yeah, fair enough. Okay, because um, what I have heard is so that that actually is, like, stupidly powerful. <laughs> so... At your level, yeah. Yeah, especially yeah. especially at my level. So we'll grab that. I, I was just thinking, going back to the percussive maintenance one, about you hitting the book so hard. Uh, um, can you remember... Have we ever had on... Um, murder trivia party where at the final round where it goes what's a simple machine it's like wait is a book considered a simple machine is a lever considered a simple machine I'm confused um I've, I've heard people mention that one before that, that one does exist uh, you want to fold the post and punch it until you're extra good at punching unfortunately you're not very good at stopping punching and you punch the book to bits Hmm. Yeah, fair enough. More, more <sighs> literal damage. 
Uh, you've learned that the only thing better than hitting an enemy once is hitting an enemy several times. Each subsequent attack deals one more damage. You perform three melee attacks for an AP cost of three. We're just rolling an AP, so this is great. Um, as a question for me personally, the old one, two, three, it goes up to five. Uh, boop, boop. So it's already up to level three because I've had the XP to spend. Uh, so yeah, next thing we next thing we find, we'll bash the crap out of, shall we? Yay! Yes, it's more like it. So we've we've got some, that worked out really well for us. Good. Next.